Cause every night I still lay awake and I dream of an absolution. Cause every night I here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes. yes. Thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. Uh, now I gotta list them all off. Fashion, economics, jewelry, and jade pottery. All so magnificent, and now it all adds up to the pointless things that are probably not even gonna be a part of this video. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well, but he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else, but there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well-loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. Oh, that's cool. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Paimon's heard that name before! Shh! Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once. <sighs> yes. These details are masterfully done. <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen. I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... As for the payment, he says. Well, allow me. Hi, child. Thank you. Use all your mora because I just got 50,000 hey, and I don't want to spend any of it. Did you arrange to meet here? <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps, you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The rite of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, Take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hmm. Seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. Now I gotta find the three workers. What? Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurer's Guild. 
I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Adventure? Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Brave adventurer, we have need of five crystal flies. Eh, that's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Nah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000, Mora. 15,000? A most fair price. No, let's negotiate. I would like to sell you 3,000, Mora. This is nothing. Hmm. Mora in hand. I have 50,000, so it's like shit. Okay. Try 8,000 to be honest. Let's see. No, go. Five geo crystal flies. Yes, I do think it's worth about this much. I'll do it. A full day. Whoa, that's expensive. Hero of Mondstadt? Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. That's too little. Hardly a. Hardly a fair price, my butt. This is. This price will do. No luck. Oh, help? So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implement. No problem. That'll be done. Ugh, we brought too little money. This is all you got? Then no can do. Please go look for someone named Child. Child? Uh, no, no, no. He's putting up the money? Thou oh, still no. N wouldn't that mean I have to make two trips rather than one? How about this? Let's make a trade. I'll take what you're offering right now, and get me a single chinksen flower, and I'll consider that payment for a detour to find this Child fellow. How does that sound? I think I already have that flower. Guess we've got no choice. Have you brought the good? Hey, that's pretty good. These things are pretty rare, and I have no idea where I'd find them. I don't know where I found them either. They were just in my inventory. <laughs> With this chinks and flower, I should be able to pacify my daughter tonight. I'll make sure the work is done before I return home. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. You think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way! Paimon demands to know when the next payment is coming! <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. What info do you need? Now! Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? What else could the Fatui want? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. <laughs> Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus Mora. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Paimon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. <sighs> huh. The reception is deserted. And it seems kinda spooky in here. Hello? Is anybody there? 
Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Oh my gosh, there's a ghost! Huh? D did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out, and Paimon will bring up the rear. Hello? Oh! It's just a little person. Are you a child? Oh, so many medicines. <laughs> oh, there you are! But you can't even reach the counter! Is she a zombie? She doesn't look like a zombie. Paimon, if we were going to talk about height, you, uh... You should look at yourself. Joke's on you! Paimon floats! So height is no restriction! Anyway, there's something weird about this one over here. What's the talisman doing on her forehead? It can't be. She's... a zombie! I don't get it. How is she a zombie? <laughs> Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. <laughs> then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. I don't get it. How are you a zombie? Do zombies also count as Adepti? Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi-Chi can get your medicine. But only if you show Chi-Chi your prescription. These are Chi-Chi's orders from Chi-Chi. Orders? Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case... The zombie issues her own orders to herself. My dear Chi-Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay, then. <laughs> How did you manage that? But Chi-Chi helps you. You help Chi-Chi. Only fair. There's so many things happening. Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. Hunt the what with the witch at where? Hmm. Guizhong Ballista. I have heard of this device before. It's a kind of crossbow turret, installed on Mount Chinhung by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Chinhung Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out! Which adds to my theory? Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adeptibeast. beast. Did you want to add anything else, or...? No. Just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adeptibeast. beast. You just said that. What it looks like. Don't know. Where to find it? Don't know either. Where it came from, also don't know. Do tell us if you remember anything else you don't remember. Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. <sighs> what the heck is a coca goat? So this is the giant catapult thing or whatever. The catapult? Does this look like a catapult to you? A crossbow looking thing. Paimon can totally believe it took an Adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. 
This device is broken. How great. Oh, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? <gasps> Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. How do I get in here? Oh my gosh, I just climbed through the window. How stupid. Ah, these parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. This man is a literal engineer. Ooh! Now how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Over here we have... nothing. And over there... more nothing. Oh! Hey! Just what do you think you're doing? Uh, when was it against the law to use this thing? So you fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what exactly? Literally whatever we want. Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Ha! <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. How is he an old man? He looks younger than you. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures. But you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces, and that's if you get out of this alive! Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an Adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. Alrighty then! <laughs> Terra smash! <laughs> no one escapes my <laughs> Terra smash! Terra dust! My gosh! Huh. These low lifes didn't know who they were messing with. Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi Chi. Oh, yeah, that! So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our Coca Goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast, as Chi Chi put it. <sighs> Which means. A Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a Cocoa Goat, and review our next step. Good idea! We did our best, and that's what counts. Our long journey, fighting enemies, again. Waste of time, but I guess we did unlock that crossbow thing or whatever, so I guess we might be able to use it later, but still, it's like, ugh. Let me tell you, we didn't Forgive do it. us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. 
We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepta Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. We can tell by your expression. Aw, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? What do you need the Coco Coco Goat for? Coco Goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adepta Beast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. This entire time, we've been looking for a cocoa goat. When we were looking for coconut milk. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Lilo proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? Oh, Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. It's time to tell you where coconut milk comes from. No. Im impossible. Seems Chi-Chi took this pretty hard. She just needs time to work through it. <laughs> Someone learned a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi-Chi. Who are you, and what an adorable snake you got around your neck. Might I ask who? Ah, oh, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Hi, man, that Chi-Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. I mean, he is a den he has a dendro vision, which means okay. You know how uh there's like uh a pyro vision or a cryo vision or that sort of stuff kind of like how Amber or Kaya has or whatever. He has a dendra. I have never seen a dendra like a dendra vision bearer before. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi-Chi. Ah, the medicine, the snake is speaking! Wow, a talking snake! You know, to be honest with you, I thought that was Paimon talking in a weird tone. I prefer to stay silent, but faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! <laughs> Don't mind Chung Shun. She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi-Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Whew, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. Three million mora. Top quality. Guaranteed. Three million? You might as well just rob the golden house. Oh, but the chasing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> <laughs> this is correct. No shame. What are we going to do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? 
20 minutes later. <laughs> Coco Goat. Coco Goat. <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe you fell for that. Hey, less laughter, more sympathy. <laughs> I'm almost in tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi-Chi wants coconut milk. Ah, yes, of course, Chi-Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 mora. That's barely off of the three million that you asked for. That's like zero difference from three million. Hmm. Two million nine hundred and ninety thousand. Also an innocuous number in and of itself, though practically speaking, it is a whole ten thousand less than the original sum of three million. Oh my gosh. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju. Little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Chi Xing taking the Golden House. Oh my gosh. Well, well, well. Ming Wang and her Chi Xing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House? Not the Exuvia. I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have gears. Oh my gosh, child! 